welcome to my Mendocino studio. I have an art lesson for you today. It's the beginning lesson. It's the basic principles you'll need to paint all the paintings you probably paint from here on out. And uh, in this lesson, we'll cover the, the basic forms, the color wheel, and uh, some contrast, and how contrast works to establish three dimension. Our first form of the basic forms is a cone. Now, over here, you'll see that the cone has uh, a triangle of light and dark, and those triangles create the cone. Each basic form has identifiable value shapes. The value shapes on the cone are triangular. On the cylinder, they are parallel stripes. The stripes uh, of light and dark create the illusion of a cylindrical form. On the sphere, we have very specific shapes. We have a crescent, which is a shadow in this case, and a somewhat oval shape, which uh, technically is an ovoid, but I'm going to call it an oval. So we have crescents and ovals creating a sphere. The fourth shape is a torus, or the donut, or a bagel shape. And this shape combines elements of the sphere and the cylinder. The sphere in that it has little, tri uh, little crescents here and here, in the same way that a sphere has crescents. And in between those crescents, we have parallel stripes, like this, the cylinder shape. So although it may be a curved cylinder, I think it's unique enough to be its own shape. Our next shape, our fifth shape, is a cube. Cube's a little tricky because it involves uh, perspective, and it also involves the use of very subtle value changes. Value, as you recall, is the difference between light and dark. When we talk about colors or uh, values, we're talking about the differences in light and dark. Now, on this cube we have here, the, there's a very subtle blend from dark to light here. Cubes have blends when they, are not, when they have faces which are not parallel to the picture plane. Your TV screen is a picture plane. The surface of your canvas is a picture plane. This, this side over here, is lighter here and darker here. Now, as artists, you know that the, that the greatest contrast comes forward and the least contrast goes back. So you want to accentuate that. You want to make that even more obvious so that people understand your painting. Now, inside this cube, you see that the, the values are not so uh, dramatically different. And that inside value helps uh, the, uh, the object to recede. Now, I'm going to, to understand this a little bit better, I'm going to show you a value scale and how the value scale works.